back. Hello. Hey, friends. All right. It's time for some Core Keeper. Uh, episode two. So, hey, listen, we had a good time the first time. We had a few people in. Looks like we're going to have some more this time. We got some voice comms up as well. Hopefully all these guys are going to be able to join us. Um, you guys should be able to join either through me directly on Steam, just join game, or uh, I can share the game code with you guys in the Discord. I think I'll do that anyway. That way you'll be able to join directly. But Wait, friends can go ahead. And... Yeah, this game is multiplayer. Oh, yeah. I need to buy it then. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start game. Suck bug. I'll play Elf Twink. <laughs> of course. All right, let me get the room code out there. Can I get moved in? Yes. Lothridge, you should be able to... Are you a final fin boy? Let me just join uh, general subs chat. Let me do that. Um, actually, let me just join general chat in Discord. I think we're going to migrate over to the general chat. Uh, so I'll see you there. There we go. There Bitch. we go. Bitch? Foo Lothridge. Can move, can move cat in. Move cat. I can't move cat in. Uh, move cat in. Move move cat in. Damn dude. All right, that's fine. Okay, can't do it. Well, we're in. Uh, let me go ahead and see. Let's see. Copy game ID. I'm gonna put the game ID in chat. I'll put it in the lobby. So the game ID has been put in there. You should be able to join using that code. This is pure communism. Uh, everyone shares everything. Uh, don't take what you don't need. Give what you can. And what channel? Uh, we're in, I put it in the lobby. Okay. So these are my rooms. Anyone touches these rooms, they're fucking dead, okay? But they're also my roommates, probably. So we need to get a couple beds made, but the thing is we need fiber, and I'm not sure how to make fiber yet. So, really what I think we're going to do is probably just continue exploring. And we've got a bit that we've explored, but we've gone out of our depth pretty quickly. And as soon as I got down here, there was stuff that I can't really kill. Mostly because I'm not putting any effort into killing them. But also because they hit like a truck, they one-shot me. So, getting some armor, I think, makes a lot of sense. Uh, which I think we could do here. And do I have any armor? No, I don't. So... Getting a set of armor, I think, would go a long way to helping me survive at least one. Oh, I do have some armor. No, I don't. All right, let's get this. I'm going to look like a little tree boy, but you know what? It's what we are. Wooden armor? <laughs> look like a fucking pumpkin. <laughs> look like a goddamn pumpkin, dude. All right, Umbreon's in. He's been waiting, man. It's been a couple days since we were able to play this, and I know he had wanted to come back in, so here we are. Hey, let's cook some of our mushroom boys together, because I know it makes really good food, and I know I'm starving. Always. So... We could probably use some more pots. Uh, do you guys need some specific class or something? Because I don't know how to play this game. So it's not really class-based as far as I can tell. Um, but uh, you can just kind of go in and have your role if you want. I'm just kind of exploring and milling about and doing whatever. We could use base bitches, I suppose. Um, but just run around, do stuff. Everything you do will be useful. All right. There we go. Hey, dude, Lothridge is in. Hell yeah. Okay. Ugh. You should not touch those rooms, Snake. Little bitch. Okay. So we've got this. I've got some food cooking. It looks like it's ready to go. I'm going to pick up some of this because I don't want to be in a situation where I need food over there, but then I don't have any. So I picked up all these mushrooms. And it, it'd be really nice if you could, um, you know, if there was like a shift, shift right click or something would insert into one of the one of the slots. That would be really nice. <laughs> That's not how that works, though. <laughs> I think I can take the three, because if I eat one... I eat one, I think it should be good enough. I'm not going to get that hungry while I'm in there. Maybe, maybe I'll take these. Put those in there to cook and take this one out. I don't know how to put in, like, a stack of them. Because it just pulls them back out. I suppose that's how. It's a really fucking tedious, though. Like, it's early access, so I'm going to be very patient with it. But, um... Right click. I did right click! But when I right click on something that's already in there, it just pulls it out instead. 
Yeah, I want to go a different direction because this has been explored over here, but I don't know how far. I'd also like to get down here and see what we can find. And I'm curious what these gold tiles are. I don't know what those are. So I'm going to go take a look. We need to be torching better. Also, I need to make some more torches. That's what needs to happen. We can make torches in the field, so it's not something I have to get like a ton of. Okay. But I'm going to go explore and see what we've got over here because I haven't seen all this yet. There we go. And I'm going to pick up pretty much as much as I can. Uh, I do have some bridges left. And I don't know if we've gotten across there, but seven won't be enough to cross that. Griffin connected. Nice. There we go. I'll put that one right there. It is very dark. So, yeah, it's really, really good if we can get... Uh, Ooh, do I take the... I think I have enough bridges to get across here. Is that... It's a fucking wall, you idiot. <laughs> it's not even a bridge. Do I have bridges? Oh, that's what I have. That's what these are. Okay. Well, we had it with five. So I can go and explore a little bit of uncharted territory over here now. I like that valuables um, shine in the darkness. That's really good. I need to shovel... I need to bring a shovel out here so bad. Here we go. I appreciate that the teams don't share vision on the map uh, in the sense that, you know, what I reveal is not going to be revealed for other people. Everyone has their own exploration to do. You know, that's that feels nice. It definitely feels nice. But I'm hoping to find some wood. And I'm curious if this turf ends up being really useful for something in the future. If all this grass ends up being something like a, a growing medium for us. Because it'd be nice to have more growth. I didn't want to attack him, but we're, you know, it's kind of where we are now. He got, he got in the way of industry and progress, so he had to die. It's just how it goes. Holy shit. Okay. The fucking posse. There we go. Gotcha, panda. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff to dig over here. Let me see. Hold on. If I can make a shovel in my regular inventory. I can. A wood shovel. We'll do that. A leaf fossil. So if you so digging stuff up, what is that actually? What are we actually attaining here? I'm curious. I could I could excavate my way around this water. Actually, I think I might. Because there's more metal over here. If I can okay, if I can get a little bit of copper with this pickaxe, then I'll feel confident in having spent it. Because that's the thing, is you've got to get, like, you got to get your money's worth out of the tools you, you make, basically. That's how I always look at it, is, of course, economics. Always looking at the game's economics. It was the same thing in Valheim. There we go, getting some new stuff. A crude bomb. Ooh. Even though we got the light flowers here, I'm going to go ahead and put some torches down, because I want to make sure that when I pick those up, we still have a light. Okay, there's a little bit of copper there. We're going to go ahead and grab that. These are dropping copper as well, so that's not bad. Mushrooms are food. Mushrooms are good food, actually. There we go. Let's grab some of this copper. There we go. I, I'm pretty sure we paid for it. Let's just dig this way because there's clearly something in the wall. I'm thinking this is some of our copper ore, but it might open up into a little cavern. Let me just see real quick. Yeah, there is, and I, I love that I can put torches through a wall. Hello? Oh, this thing hates torches. Wow, okay. Huh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, got it. Okay, listen. Give me my torches. He should have dropped all my torches again, man. Oh, they are on the ground. Okay. Wow, that was horrifying. No! Oh, there's a bunch of them! Ew! No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus, these are nasty. Same attack pattern, though. Whole oh, ew! Fucking disgusting. Oh, I don't know if I can beat this. I'm one away from dying. Hold on, let's eat. We're gonna... Okay, we're gonna try and just, like... Matador his ass back. 
It's so scary. I don't, I can't see past here. <laughs> Why is this the horror game? Let's bait him forward with a delicious torch. There we go. Oh, nice. F fuck, why is this so spooky, dude? Uh, no! <laughs> I'm not ready for this. Oh, God, they do damage. Plus one running is definitely helpful here. We need some levels and all that shit. Hold on, I gotta put a torch there, because otherwise I keep thinking that goes somewhere. They're just, e they're everywhere. Listen, this is a familiar sight, Umbreon. We're farming Ooh. and Miko's just digging around. <laughs> I would never just dig around. Alright, let's eat so we can get some regen. Holy shit, some healing would actually be good. Like, straight up heal points. I'm doing important exploration into a hellhole. Feel free to come join me in the grubworm farm. I am getting some glow tulip seeds, which is nice. Uh, some other stuff that we've picked up. Bomb pepper seeds... Uh, grub Copac seed turns into plant that gives fiber gives fiber when harvested Cave pouch five inventory slots. Oh hell. Yeah, dude. Nice Nice hey, we're finding some good stuff down here actually oh Here's some food, but it has no region on it. That's fine There we go nice I feel like I can fight these things off. It's the big ones that spook me. Speaking of which. It's a good thing I have a little bit of light on myself, man. There we go. Are these things giving fiber? There we go. Nice. No, Don. Not, not now. Don? Are you winning, son? <laughs> I think so. I'm not dying and I'm killing. Oh, a little dangerous on that one. I know there's a dude over here. And he went down here to get... Ooh! You can get two. You can get two for sure. Ooh. Hello? Hey, Infrey. Thanks for this sub, my man. I appreciate that. There could be more in here, but I doubt it. I think I only saw the one come through. Yeah. I'm glad you can still pick them back up after they've eaten them. Surely I'm clearing them out, though. Surely I'm clearing them out. Oh, you fucker. There we go. So, Griffin, I just ran in a direction and started looking at stuff. You know, make a little bit of gear, see what you can craft, make it, see what you can use. Just run. A little bit of wood All is right. nice. <laughs> what I've been doing. That's what I'm doing right now is just run in a direction see what you can do over here. This is a game of uh, definitely some exploration. Okay, I may have I may have killed them all. Which is really nice. I feel like we've claimed this area now for our own. Hopefully it uh, hopefully it stays ours. Let's put a torch back here so it doesn't look like it's going to go anywhere. Oh, it's so fucking nasty. Oh, there's another dude. There's probably more. Ooh! Okay, real fucking weak right now. There we go. Should be healing a bit. I need to find if there are any more of the big grubby boys. There is. Fuck me. That's why there are so many as these eggs have popped. Whoa, getting some big hits in there. Well, that's nice. So you can kill stuff that's kind of out of your depth as long as you're able to dodge. And the dodges are easily telegraphed. So that's good. That's nasty, but at least it's done. <laughs> 
Okay, good. So we've seen all of this now. Okay. So at least this goes back uh, no further than that. Damn, I tried, dude. I tried so hard to get through there. There we go. Oh, nice. If those things aren't hard to kill. It's the big ones that get a little bit rough. And it's not even that they're hard to kill. They just hit so damn hard. Okay, so we're going to need some more torches here. If we're going to continue. Which we are. We can we can continue as long as our sword has durability on it. And for I thank you for the tier one sub, man. He says Miko T's. Damn, dude. Yeah, I can't wait to see how they update this game too. Uh, I'm not planning to play all of it. Just kind of planning to take a look at it. Uh, because I don't want... It's one of those things where I didn't want to play all of Satisfactory either uh, in Update 4 because I knew Update 5 was coming and I wanted to save stuff. Two of these guys at once is going to be a little rough. You really can if you're brave. You can get two hits in there. You have to be brave, though. You can't be a little bitch like me. Five hits? Depending on the rolls. There we go. Nice. Vitality up. I need to spend my points. Yeah, if you're brave, you get two hits. Two hits in there. Nice skull. Yeah, this feels good. I feel like I'm uh, learning, <laughs> which is nice. And I think we have thoroughly cleared this place out now. I can't see any other place that this could uh, turn into. When I check my map, though, yeah, what a big little area we got over here. Lothridge over here. I died there. Someone died there. Leandre's running around this area. We've got all this claimed. What's that little red icon there? Let's go see what that is. There's another one here on the edge. Oh, it's copper. It's telling you that there's copper there. Exposed copper is good. Let's go get that little bit that's over there. Yeah, right on that corner. Okay, so we're learning to read the map a little bit better now as well. Let's get some more wood. Ooh, there could be much more in here. Or there's nothing. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm good with not fighting worms for a while. All this wood is going to be nice. It's going to be really helpful to be able to take this hole back. And the copper to boot. Oh, that's going to be good. Some bridges will be needed to get past this, though. I feel like if I dig through the wall here. The clay caves. Oh, shit. We got a different name now. I feel like excavating through the wall is going to be better because it looks like it does actually form a bridge over this way. Whoa! We've got clay walls now. These take a lot to get through. Huh. Okay. Let's continue a little bit. Let's see what's over here. Oh, no, never mind. Our thing broke. Okay, so let's head home. Can, oh, do we probably... Okay, we probably should just be punching wood in the future. Let's pick this up, whatever this is. Put down another torch right here on the corner, and then off we go. See if we keep everything lit up on our way back. But those, were those are terrifying things. Fucking nasty. They hit like a truck, too. I'm glad I brought every soup that I did. I ended up needing every one of them. But actual healing materials would be nice. Oh, dude, we got some fishing going? Hell yeah. Pet, pet, pet. Hey, Umbreon. There we go. With this amount of people, the need for food is going to be pretty high, so I hope we have some farming going on. Like, good farming. And I think we do. Um... Being able to find my own mushrooms and feed myself is good. I am fishing while the crops grow. And I'll try to sort out all the food. Oh, nice. Chef Lothridge. We got a bunch of fiber there. We got a bunch of fiber, which means we can start making some beds. And I do want to make some beds. Frankly, I think that's the only thing fiber is good for right now. But we make some beds, and I think NPCs can start. I don't know where in. I am. I'm just lost. Welcome <laughs> to the club.
You could just go sleep in the bed as you would ex expect. <laughs> oh, and this heals you too. It doesn't feed you, but it heals you. All right, so we've got some walled floored rooms with beds and lights. We don't really have any other furniture to give. So how to how to rotate? Or does it always do this? Oh, there we go. Oh shit. A pepperette. You gave me a fucking burrito. Nice. Oh, mining damage. Nice, dude. That's really good. Let me put in my mushrooms. I'm going to put in all the green stuff. <laughs> we have three seeds for grub uh, kapox, which will give us fiber. Got it. Crude bomb. No need. Cross necklace. Five crit chance. Ooh. Larva ring. Immune to being slowed by slime. Oh. On a two set. Okay. We got these guys. We got some mushrooms I'll put in there. The caveling bread will keep. Let's see. I'm going to do my best to not contribute to a messy inventory. <laughs> I'm going to do my best, dude. I'm trying. Bean. Dude, I was watching you play... Um, I was watching you salt your shit out <laughs> earlier. <laughs> oh, man. Some of those jumping sections had you stumped, man. It was fun to watch. I hope you had a good stream, man. I was enjoying myself some uh, salty bean. <laughs> it was a good time. Yeah, there's another bag in here. There is a cave pouch in this chest in front of me. Uh, this one right here that will expand your inventory by five slots. If you don't have one and you're doing a lot of pickups, this would be good to pick up. Another skull. Larva meat. Oh, let me put the larva meat over here. It's technically food, I suppose. Okay, so these... This goes over here. Because there's already a stack of it over here. Stone floor, ear plate, geode, trinket. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and wear that copper cross necklace. Just because I don't have anything there in that slot. And then what's up here? What's in this chest? we got some walls. I'll put some more walls in there. And then what's in this guy? Mm -hmm. We'll put this stuff over there. This pr should probably go into the food bin. This will be a dump chest for I don't know. <laughs> Clay wall, sand wall, this. I'll put the larva ring in there. I'll keep my burrito because why not? I don't need that wall. This has become dump chest. Okay, this is looking good. I'm not going to throw anything away. Everything looks valuable. Oh, look at the farm expanding. Good job, Lothridge. There we go. Oh, a glowing guppy fillet. Mining damage and four plus four glow. Very nice. Damn, dude. This is looking good. Cool. It'd be nice if we could find some more seeds for this and have some more wood production at home. Uh, let me take a look at the map. We've explored over here, and I'd like to go into that area, but we need to get a replacement. Um, let's go ahead and just make a new pickaxe, because I feel like we can. Though we probably can start making some tin stuff. We found some tin, which I think was down here. This one? Iron ore, gold ore, copper ore. We need to get this smelted. We got some gold bore, uh, tin bar. Let me see what that produces. We can't make tin. Oh, we'd have to make a tin uh, workbench. Ah, copper and tin bars. Wow. Yeah, let's save the tin for that extra workbench. Let me take out five here. Go cook some of this. Uh, oh, this is already going. I see. I'll let Umbreon handle that. It looks like he's got it under control. Hi, Griffin. Looking cute. <laughs> Always. That's a spirit. I do have another 610 that I can bring back. Ooh. Okay, well, there's a 10. I'm going to hold on to that. Repair cost is two copper bars, so I shouldn't have deconstructed it there. I see now. <laughs> Lothridge's meat, hearty meat steak, 22 food, 2.8 health every second. 
crit chance and plus max HP. That's nice. I've got plenty of food on me now. Well, I've got some food on me. Got this over here as food. I need to make some more bridges. This stuff can get repaired with wood. Okay. I see. Let me go ahead and take this then. I can make my uh, pickaxe again. There's a hoe. A copper shovel probably would do better, but honestly, we're using it so infrequently that it doesn't seem like it matters. Let's go ahead and repair our... Ah, there we go. We've got it done. Wait, unless I left it on there. I did. <laughs> okay. There's this, and I can put this back now. I don't need the other three. It'd be nice to make some armor, though. It'd be real nice. Let's just make... Let's make a bunch of uh, bridges. Because I want to I want to be able to get anywhere that we see and not worry about it. Okay, let's also take a look. Damn, dude. Let's on top of everything else, let's go ahead and take a look at this stuff. Uh, more points here. Can't get anything else, so we'll do that. Can't do anything else there, so we'll do that. Chance to gain extra items. Nice. Six percent of all skill points added to max health. So a little bit of extra max HP. We got plus four right there. Nice. Look at Tomboy, he's so fucking cute. <laughs> Our little farmer boy. There we go. Okay, I think I'm going to pick a different direction and just run. Um, although going over here, this feels right. This feels like an area that I want to go to. There's still some copper over here. I want to see what's in the clay area. New talent point available and running, hell yeah. There's five, so now we get to choose these. Dodge chance after standing still? Nah. Movement speed after running consistently? Hell yeah, of course. That's not even a contest. There we go. Uh, I found the fishing pole I had. Oh my god, dude. What is this? These things respawn. There's one behind you, Griffin. Thank you. There we go. I'll go fish at the big lake I found. We've got a big ass worm infestation over here on the on the west side. Sounds like not my problem. Oh my god, dude. If you get in a bad rhythm, then yeah, you run right into him. There we go. I gotta eat this. Need the health. This moose speed is gonna get me fucking killed. Oh, they all just turned around and fucking murked me in the face. Oh, no. I tried, dude. At least you keep your hot bar, so I have a chance. I can go out there and contest them again. Wait, the worms are on the west side? Yes, they're between you and home. Oh, shit. Does something uh, destroyed all your torches that you put up? Yeah, all it's your worms. your torches are just floating there. Yeah, that's worms. Jesus. Okay, I'm going to start relighting them up. So I think we need to create breach heads. Uh, or bulkheads. Whatever they're fucking called. Bulwarks. <laughs> you fucker! <laughs> they did it again. Oh, uh, that's okay. Dying just resets your hunger. Okay, it's strategic dying. Oh, look at all the the farm is moving quickly, man. Nice, very nice. I'm fucking my ass eating, dude. <laughs> my fucking worms. Okay, there we go. Hey, two graves. We're going to go ahead and just put them here. Just in memoriam. Mem memoriam? Jesus. Did I get my inventory back? I did. I didn't have much to, to get back, but there we are. So, the question is, where did they come from? They might have wandered all the way back over here. Oh, I think I found it. Because, like, it seems like they'll follow the torches on their way back because they just eat the torches that they get attracted to them. 
So if there's one, then it'll just get led all the way back. But I think we need to put up doors where we can. To stop this shit. But I don't know if they'll eat them, but maybe that'll be a deterrence. We'll try that. There we go. So that's figured out. What a fucking nightmare that is. Okay, hold on. Because they were over here. They weren't in here. They, they must have gone all the way through. But if all the torches were gone, then it makes sense that they spawned over there again. Yeah, there's even more. There we go. Nice skull. God damn, dude. I'm just going to push up north uh, and see if I can cut them off before they get down here any further. Because it seems like they're just walking their way down here. That's a spiky boy. I'm not interested in the slimes. Not interested in slimes right now. Let's go see this way. But here's the thing. They didn't get any of these torches. It was only... Hmm. Was it this? Is this how they got around? I don't know. But I'm going to pick this up. I mean, I did relay a bunch of torches, so I don't know. I didn't follow them all the way back. Got it. Yeah, it's hard to know. But I wonder if this area over here is a spawning ground, and maybe we need to dig up the worms in the ground. I was thinking about that earlier. Yeah, all these torches are missing, but I don't see any worms so far. Thank God I have glow on me. This would be fucking awful. I mean, it is awful, but it would be worse. Let me see if I can dig this up. I can. So we get chrysalis. I'm going to dig it up because it seems like it's going to spawn more. Oh, dirt ground. Uh, we don't want dirt ground. Yeah, I'm just going to dig up all the chrysalis. I think that it may be the only way to stop them from respawning. And maybe it's not needed at all, but maybe the chrysalis is worth something. Maybe we could plant these guys in a farm and have a specific a little arena that we fight them in. Okay, something is thumping my screen and I don't know what it is. And it scares me. Are you in the northern part? I think so. Oh, yeah, big God. slime. Boss. Oh, oh, okay. I'm running. Oh, look at all this chrysalis. Blech. Nasty. Oh, yeah, see, this stuff is respawning. Yeah, dude. Man. the cri Okay, so I'm pretty sure that the chrysalis is actually respawning the hives. So it's not enough to clear them out. You've got to clear them out and then clear out the chrysalis, which makes sense. But it's cool that the floor effect keeps them active. Like, mechanically, that's cool. Play-wise? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Fucking disgusting. Okay, well, before they get a chance to respawn again, let's get over here. I doubt they'll respawn if they're on screen. That's what I'm hoping. So if we just stick around here, dig all this up, we should be able to stop this area because they're just, they're going to eat the torches every time. We're just going to always have worm problems over here if we don't take care of this. I wonder if there's an item description for the chrysalis. Icky ground cover that feels strange to walk across. Larvas will infest chrysalis to covered areas. Oh, larvas will infest chrysalis covered areas over time. Are these the larva? Fucking squish. Get out of here. Yes, yeah, so we definitely want to take this away. This is their breeding ground, literally. So it's interesting that you've got to like go in and like really truly try and get rid of the infestation. And be thorough about it because any one cell can be a problem. I'm quite hungry. Oh, I am quite hungry. Okay, uh, I'm not going to eat larva meat. I will, however, eat a steak. Lothridge's steak. There we go. There we go. Man, I could eat more. Let's do the cabling bread. 
It doesn't have any healing properties, so it's just food. Okay, I'm pretty sure we got all of the... Oh, no, we didn't. Yeah, a uh, copper shovel would have been good here. Knowing that we're actually going to be using it a little bit more than just digging up treasure. Okay. So there's that taken care of. We should be fine over here. I don't see any more larva. There we go. Yeah, let's explore down here and see what's going on. This just loops around by the look of it. Get this down here. Get one of these on the bridge, too. Well, this is nice. Ooh, what is that? Huh. Let's pick it up. I'm gonna have to kill the slime for it, though. I'm gonna have to take the damage for it. And what was that we just picked up? Was it fiber? Huh. Cool. Yeah, that is rumbling. Oh, shit. Ah. Uh, okay, we're walking this way. Nope. <laughs> I'm not interested in that. Yeah. It's a gigantic mite looking thing. What the fuck? Not interested in that. I'm good over here. I'm good over here. How the hell are we going to begin to fight that thing? Wow. We're definitely going to need better than copper, that's for sure. Yeah, this early at a one shot, I'm not sh uh, surprised at all. Okay, let's bridge across here. Then let's uh, dig through this and see what we can find on the other side. Because it's more clay, hey? Because I see this box and I see these two little diggy holes here. Oh, no, the fucking shovel. That's okay. Let's grab some of this tin. There we go. Oh, this could be iron, honestly. It looks a little bit more like iron. Do we have a 10 workbench or do we need to make one? I think we still need to make one. Let's just go up. It's going to take me a minute to dig, but let's get up there as best we can because we know that there's more ore here. So I've been told that we get uh, NPCs, so I would hold on to valuables for now because I think eventually we get to sell them for some kind of currency. Yeah. Meta gaming. Oh, Mako, there's um, with the ten workbench, there's a spike trap. Oh. That we might be able to use for those worms. Yeah, uh, I think spike trap potentially in a little area where we get to um, put the chrysalis back down to spawn them on, and create a little farm. Cause they spawn meat. It's not great. It's like nutrient paste, but it's food. <laughs> I need a drill. Oh, okay. Well, we did get to break into the clay area, which is nice. We got the sand that'll make it a little bit easier to get through. This north area didn't go anywhere. Uh, let's head back and get that, get these two bits of copper and head back and see what we have. Let's consolidate our inventory because I don't think we've picked up terribly much, but I still want to drop it off, get a reset, get a repair on my gear, get a... a Get a copper shovel. I think a copper shovel is a good deal. Here we go. Right over here somewhere it said it was. I must have picked it up. Yeah, here as well. There's a little bit more up here to the right. That I keep passing and not picking up. There we go. You played out the game, you're waiting for the next part? Ah, nice. Yeah, so far it's got all the hallmarks so far. I think healing food would be really, really good. There we go. 
Yeah, some stuff's getting moved around. We're getting more organized. Awesome. I don't know what other furniture might be needed for NPCs to move in. Because um, the game says, yeah, friendly inhabitants to move in if uh, placed in a room to their liking. And it may be that they need more than a 5x5, five five, but I would be surprised by that. What we could do is have two rooms and have a really big room in between. Like, cut this down to make it one big room and see if it's a space issue. But they have light. They have this. There's no other furniture that I can think of that we need. Oh, we do have a tin workbench now. Oh. Yeah, you just said that, cat. <laughs> yeah, wood fence. Paintable wall. Paintable floor. Fence and gates, one tin bar to make a spike trap. A mechanical spike trap that only reacts to enemies. Ooh. Yeah, then the iron workbench, which is 10 ton, 10, 10, 20 iron. Wow. Alchemy table, workbench to tinker with wonders of chemistry. Painter's table to make paint. Very good. And a tin anvil, better anvil for creating gear and weapons more suited for survival. So now we just need to find as much tin as possible, which, I mean, this is starting to feel a bit like Valheim in that, um... Do I have any meat? Well, let's see. Uh, that's the food I have. Grub meat. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I got. I picked up a little bit of tin, a little bit of copper. Uh, I'm not seeing where to drop my green stuff. I'm going to imagine it's down here somewhere. Ooh, food. Yeah, dude, fishing looks like it's going to be great for, uh, great for food. There we go. Got some fiber now. We could add some more beds. Yeah, I need a, uh, we need a box that's for seeds and stuff. We have a valuables chest up there. Let's see. Oh, I think seeds this is it. Seeds and ingredients go on the bottom chest. Uh, all foods go on the top. Got it. Cool. Yeah, and our farm is, uh, it looks like our farm is going to be able to make us a lot of valuables here. A lot of valuable materials, so our food should be going going good. Okay, so I could get through that wall to get whatever copper is back there. I feel like going for tin, though, right now is the most valuable thing that we could do. Um, if we're able to find any more over here, I think that that's good. Because it's, it's going to almost so certainly be right in the now, I can make a spicy pepper wrap, which gives everybody a 21% movement speed for one minute. But it's only 15 hunger. Would everybody like, like, 10 of those? I mean, if it's plentiful, it'll work. I'll take it. I am starving to death. <laughs> it may be worth just dying. I'm sorry, a gooey pepper wrap? I don't know about that. I think the healing is definitely worth uh, quite a lot. There we go. Dude, Umbreon in his, in his copper gear. Look at him. Let me go ahead and get a repair on all my stuff. Let's see. Don't have any copper, but there may be copper in here. We, it's not like we don't have tin. We do. Damn, we don't have any, any copper, though. Oh, no, never mind. We have shitloads of copper. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and make a copper shovel while we're here. We have a lantern and we're using we it. We have 14 okay. tins, so I don't know if there's something, another, uh, another bench that we want to make specifically, or what? <sighs> I keep destroying my fucking pickaxe. There we go. All right, we've got that. I don't think I'm going to do copper armor yet. I'm going to save it. I don't, how much would it take? Hold on. How much would copper armor even take? 8, 11? 
19, so 28. Dude, that'd be half our supply for me to be able to get copper armor. That's not worth it. That's super not worth it. Not for not for one person to have it, unless they're super frontline and they know what they're doing. That person should probably get the armor, but then not me. <laughs> not me. I, I wonder if there's some other requirement to the room that makes it so people won't move in. Uh, although it's, it probably is going to be something where... It's probably going to be something where uh, we have to maybe kill a boss first. And there Lots may be some threshold. Top, Jess. Nice. Oh, yeah. This doesn't heal, but that's okay. Spicy tulip salad. Glow and healing. Ooh, I will take that. I'll take some of this food and then I'll run out. I feel like I haven't looked north pretty much at all. So I'm thinking about digging up north. I think this tunnel might go somewhere. Although this might go somewhere. I'm going to go look up there. All right. Let's head off to the east. we got a better shovel now, so we should be able to pick up any of the stuff we want. This is a cute little area. Now let's go. Let's go around, around. I don't think I have any wood on me, so I'll have to find wood if I want to get more torches than this. So let's be a little bit sparing. Okay. Now this does keep going. And someone's clearly been here, but then they gave up digging. I think I am just going to dig north until I find something. Why not? And fuck it. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> I've run into more warm boys. So like, we'll be okay. We'll be fine. Whoa, a giant mushroom. Mushrooms for Lothridge, man. There we go. New item, giant, it's its own thing. So it's not just like a bunch of small mushrooms, it's one giant mushroom. Okay. There's something in the water there that we could probably fish. Big old mushroom cave, look at all this, nice. This is a bunch of food. The double, mu the mushroom stew is so good for food and healing. So far it's the best food. But it seems a limited resource, unless we figure out how to grow mushrooms. Which maybe we can. Hello, cat. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> All right, off I go. Plus one mining. I mean, I feel I like it's worth faster for farther than that because it's gonna pop the slime king or whatever. Oh, right up here up north? Yeah, I, I basically just mined until real close to it so that we're ready to get to it really soon. Oh, okay. Hmm, so maybe I should run east. Just dig east. Until we find something, you know? Well, that looks like that may have already been done. Well, they didn't do all of the east. A little bit of wood there. Yeah, we could bridge across. Someone's already been over there on the other side. No, they no, they haven't. Okay. So we're going to bridge across. Just see what's on the other side here. Slimy boy. A couple peppers. No, I didn't have enough bridges to go there. Ah, good. Okay, so this is new. Yeah, pretty much. Going to dig to the right. It says I'm quite hungry again. God damn, um, dude. Just a little word of warning before somebody starts throwing mushrooms into the cookpots. It is based on who put the ingredients in there, is who gets the XP. And if I level up cooking enough, you can get extremely good buffs for having full hunger. Okay. So I'll let you handle cook. it. <laughs> yeah. That'll be good like 5% extra damage and 5% extra movement speed just for having high hunger. I think I'm just going to bridge across this. Yeah, those are good buffs. We definitely want to preserve that if we can. Okay, I guess we're turning there for no reason. 
another little mushroom area. Let me pick up all the stuff as we go. I don't know how much of this we're farming. I don't know. I don't want to pass something up and then be like, oh, I should have picked that up. That's an awful feeling every time it happens. These chests, though, feel great because you get some good ores out of them. Bunch of more mushrooms. Bunch of more mushrooms. Some wood for torches. That'll be good, too. I'll put some torches down because it's going to help people know where we've been. But as long as I'm glowing, um, I'm not feeling as much in need. Although I should just be punching the wood. I'm pretty sure... Well, I don't know, man. I would hope that it didn't take durability if it was just, uh, just wood. Okay. Let's go place some of this. And let me just dig this open. Cheap, high hunger foods are on the bottom row. Status effects are in the middle. Uh, random is on top. Oh, nice. There we go. Let me go ahead and make as many as I can. I don't know about as many as I can. We'll do something like 96. Get over a little bit over 100. Yeah, from there we're pretty good. To show our path with our torches. That way if somebody wants to come over here and pick up from where we left off, they'll know how far we got. Hoping this is tin over here. Yeah, tin or iron. Either way, this is what we're here for. Getting this amount of material ultimately is going to be what we're looking for. Um, getting enough of the iron, getting enough of the tin that we can move up to the next tier. It's very Valheim in that way. A lot of these survival crafting games have it that way. Your material type is your threshold for what you can and can't do. This looks spooky, so let's do it. This looks like I'm going to run into some stuff I've seen before that killed me. <laughs> it killed me killed me dead. All right. It's if I'm even able to damage this. I feel like I'm not making any... Yeah, no way. I'm not even damaging it. Okay, so I don't need to be over here. But we know that once we get like a probably a 10 pickaxe, I could probably take care of that. There we go. Cats all the way up there. Got Griffin over here. I think I could push east, a little bit more east, into the into the clay. It's probably gonna be a river right here that looks like it might be fish. It could be. Let me check up north because if it's ore, I'd rather have it. Oh. So how many bosses are there? Just the three? right now oh it looks like it's ore hey liquid good to see you man I'm doing great it's good to see you there we go yeah and I think there may be a little bit more ore up here too just go whack the hell out of these walls I honestly feel like we're going to need to go back for a repair here pretty soon but we'll be able to Think we'll be able to get these repairs no problem but like all this stuff is finite material in, in the sense that you know it isn't renewable there is going to be a limited resource and with as many players as we have that does take a tax on a, you know the amount of materials we have so you need to be making good on what you have and ultimately i'd hope to find enough tin like how much do i have i have nine tin ore i'd like to think that that could turn into a pickaxe and then i could upgrade you know and from there i'm spending fewer resources you've been busy today that's good Hope it's been a good busy. How to get a new printer does not sound like good busy. Oh, I've got rumblings up here too. So we must be uh, close to boss. So I, I think that's good to hold on to there. Whatever's going on over there can be left alone. <laughs> can be can be just completely left alone. So I bet the slime ground is what also spawns those slimes. And it would make sense that digging up the slime and getting rid of it would claim that. Claim that area, or at least stop their spawns. That's what it feels like to me. So that's probably going to be it. Shovel is for reclaiming uh, area. I'm curious to see if the worms have come back. Like, if they're spawned on the ground, or if they're spawned specifically on the chrysalis ground tiles. The old printer quit halfway done on a project for tomorrow. Ain't that the shit. It's... <laughs> Ugh. Sad times. 
It sounds like you got it figured out, though. Interesting. So this looks like almost like a, a little shrine you can offer something up on. Okay. So we've got some stuff to drop off. Uh, including some ore. And I think I'm gonna I'm willing to upgrade my own pickaxe. I think I'm willing to upgrade my pickaxe. I feel like I've contributed enough with my pickaxe that I, I deserve an upgrade, damn it. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, tin bar, we've got plenty of tin right there. Except the thing has been destroyed now. Fucking underground. Just trying to get that stone. It is nice that we can make a pit, you know, just straight to hell. That is good. <laughs> Thank you, Umbreon. <laughs> All right, pickaxe. Upgrade pickaxe. Perfect. And we'll go ahead and salvage this old one. There we go. Yeah, salvage this boy. Got some back. Perfect. Yeah, I paid for the tin that I, that I just took. So I feel not bad about that. Some iron ore is nice. Okay. Well, all this stuff is getting open. Is there anything I could excavate for you, Lothridge? Because it looks like you're doing some digging over here. I was just trying to get a closer water so I didn't have to go around this entire setup. Oh, I see. Gotcha. I wonder what kind of flooding mechanics there are. Like, if we were to dig soil up, would it flood in? Well, yeah, that's what I did over here. I just made a oh, little channel to this pit, and then it just filled up. Awesome. And I'm hoping that's infinite. I see, yeah. Yeah, it looks like we could almost make little irrigation lines if we wanted to. That would be cute. Possibly, but you know it's not going to be that easy. No, of course not. It'd be nice, though, if the farmland was next to water, if it'd do, like, Minecraft action of uh, hydrating itself. Then it would be super worth Yeah, we need to drill for all this stuff, but we don't have drills. And all this slime down here, I'm, I'm really wondering if it's worth coming in and getting rid of the slime so that this area can be safe. But man, these slime boys are, as long as they're not the hostile variety, like these guys are the hostile variety. Dangerous. <laughs> there we go. Got him, though. As long as we can get this lit up, these guys don't seem to destroy. Ooh! <laughs> these guys don't seem to destroy torches. So we can get this uh, figured out at least. We got a little door right here. This is cute. To keep them where they are. Could use another little door over here somewhere. Probably right over here. Uh, dude, I'm out of food again. Wow. We're so hungry just all the time. All right, let's head back. Yeah, we could make a big, uh, big slime room and potentially farm them with spikes. Yeah. All right, gooey mushroom soup, 22 food, 20 food, 19 food. But there's 13 of these glowing berry pudding. What the hell? Yeah, I wish I knew how to split. Let me just take five of these. There we go. And then let's go lay in bed for a second. Although I don't think we need to at all. There we go. Get that region. How much is it? Five health every second. Not bad. Because this is 2.8. It's half as good as resting in, the, in a bed. We've got one more of these for when we need to eat again. But I think I'll pick up a couple more. Whoa, 32. Never mind. I should be fine on food for quite a while from that. Especially if we're growing our food, then it's just a matter of cycling through the garden. It shouldn't be a problem. And we're getting more fiber too, so bed should be not a problem either. All right, dude. Cat's going all kinds of crazy up here. We got right over here and got some rumbling, so I stopped. We got over here and saw a boss, so I stopped. 
I think up in this area is going to be where there's a lot of copper, a lot of stuff that we could get. So I'm probably going to just take a tunnel and dig north, maybe right in there. This little back area could become something. Oh, it already has. Good. At least a little bit. I'm just going to dig through. There we go. Lots of slimy boys over here. I don't want to deal with a lot of the slime. There's, there's a green shake. I don't know if that's going to be the slime boss. It sounds like something jumping and falling. Oh, shit. Nope, that's a boss. Wow. Look at him. Honestly, I think with all of us, we could probably swarm him. He's not that tough. We dig up the floor. I'm up for trying. I think honestly, just job one is getting all the slime dug up. We all go in there and just like a little ants and just fucking kill him. There we go. Let me get drop all my stuff off. Yeah, this has all been explored, which is good. I just need to check in and. Uh, How do you dig it up? Shovel. There we go. Uh, this is metal. Uh, so we'll put that there. Let's see. What do we got here? Is this like stony stuff? Yeah, but there's a seed right there. Let me pick that up. Peasant chest. We have a peasant hat too. There we go. Get all of our green stuff and our ingredients put in there. There we go. 49 mushrooms, man. There we go. Fiber needs to be put away as well, but I'm not sure where. Ah, here. Ground slime. There we go. Plenty of that. Regular slime. What is this slime used for? It can be further processed. Well, we can't use it for anything yet. Keep the wood on me. Put these guys up for sure. Um, clay wall can go up as well. It's fucking cozy, ain't it? Right, here we go. Let's put some. Let's find a place to put our gears. Yeah, the mechanical. I don't know points. where I am. <laughs> You're way out there, cat. <laughs> She's way out there. Full explorer. <sighs> okay. So. You told me to dig, so I'm digging. <laughs> I didn't realize what I was unleashing. So why is Umbreon digging up all the stone? You got a project? Looks like it's this over here. We're making a little slime nursery over here. What are we doing? gonna be cute whatever it is it better be cute eventually we're gonna want to floor all this in I'm sure oh oh please tell me this is a mushroom farm oh I see it's gonna become something Well, that's incredible. Wow. It's nice to play with people that know a little bit of what they're doing. We're not just completely fumbling around. Only a little bit. All right, we're going to head up and go see if we can find Cat, escort her back, and then see if we can get to... Uh... Although I think the boss is directly between us and the <laughs> and Cat. So if I go a little bit left, I should be able to get over to where I think Griffin is. Yeah. There he is. Uh, yeah, I'll go around. Let's go see if we can find that cat. Ooh, you know. I'm just gonna dig up from here. Aw, oh, dude, look at us. 
We're gonna dig our way into a, a little grub, little grub area, and it's gonna be a fucking nightmare. We're going for that cat, man. <laughs> this is the most efficient way to dig. Don't worry, cat, we're coming. <laughs> We're digging a straight fucking access tunnel to wherever Hell she yeah, is. is. This is so good. <laughs> we just whack it once and it's Ew. done. <laughs> this is incredible. Okay. That's a cat. We've done it. <laughs> She's still just digging. <laughs> she can't be stopped. <laughs> Is this what you've been doing this whole time? <laughs> yes. <laughs> God, I'd love to see your inventory. The question is whether she's going to be able to go down the tunnel or if she's going to stop and dig everything on her way through. <laughs> Here we go. I think we're desyncing a little bit. No? No. Looked like it might have been there for a second. Here we go. Right here, though, we can definitely dig through again. Yeah, this is an area where I want to dig up. There's a screenshot, another. Oh, good. All right, perfect. This ground slime, I'm wondering if it could be processed for anything else, but honestly, I think the idea of creating our own little nursery to spawn stuff in could be good. And to be able to farm these guys. Because if we could find a good use for the slime, then keeping these keeping these areas open and available for spawning is definitely going to be Please good. Bring that fifty tin ore back. I'm coming. <laughs> she can't. She can't help herself. Nice rose Lothridge. <sighs> this garden is cute as fuck. There we go. I will eventually try what you were suggesting. It would be easier for water, as well, at least. Yeah. Oh, I see. So these open sections would be irrigation lines. Oh. Correct. But I'm also wondering if I can water the ground and then plant the crops, so that way I don't have to keep going back and forth and it just grows in chunks like this. They all grow at the same time. Oh, yeah. Satisfaction 100. Should I start digging channels? Not yet. If okay. I can water it all at the same time, then I can. I'm not gonna worry about it. Got it. I'm gonna check out this. Uh, <laughs> what her inventory looks like. Yeah, we just sent her to go dig, and there she did. Inventory full. She found a whole ass furnace up there. 50 tin ore, 11 uh, copper, 7 gold. Damn, dude. Two bombs. Where'd you get, where'd you get those bombs? <laughs> uh, just random uh, crates. Miko, there's someone down here that wants to speak to you. Uh-oh. Oh. I have addressed the situation. My hero. Okay. We should definitely build some doors around here just to keep people safe. Protect Lothridge. There we go. Can build a door right there and then nothing should be able to just sneak in. We'll have to make a door up here. Door takes two copper. Well, oh, really, a door takes two copper. Okay. We have enough. It's just annoying. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Get this put back in. 
I'm trying so hard to be responsible with my inventory, y'all. You have no idea. The effort is there. Okay, door secured. Lothridge is protect. At least from that direction. Not from this one, though. <laughs> I'm gonna fill it in. We don't want things wandering into the main area. We want this to be an area that's properly secured. Which means you probably should floor it, honestly. I like the idea of a little Venice. We have a lot of bridges. Lots of water channels everywhere. We could make this into an elfin utopia. Just saying. There we go. Let me dig whatever this is. This stupid... But we're not elves, bitch. <laughs> it's a shame, honestly. The biggest disappointment is had in that fact. Let me dig out another room. I mean, why not? We've got enough space right here. There's five, yeah. Two, three, four, five. We'll need to dig out the walls as well, but we can at least get the main five by five put down. Perfect. And then, let me go ahead and take this wood and make some walls. No elf, only dwarf? Oh, Jesus. I keep, I keep getting reminded I'm stuck down here. Uh, okay, there's a bunch of wood. Here we go. So let's go ahead and do walls. I don't know how many we need. 60 is good. I know we need a lot of floor. There we go. 5 by 5 is 25, so that's four rooms worth of floors. Um, we don't quite need 5 by 5. You can make yourself a uh, better fishing rod already. 24 per room on the walls. Assuming they're not shared. Then the door. The door is the only issue that's kind of expensive because it takes metal. What? Place it, please. Oh my god, please. There we go. Of course, we need to open this guy up. I think getting these rooms set up in advance is going to allow us to very quickly expand. You know, I would rather have more rooms than NPCs whenever we do get them. Assuming we do actually get them. Because in early access, you can't assume just because the tooltip says that there are NPCs, you know. Doesn't mean that you're actually going to get to interact with them or that they even exist yet. Can't have that guarantee yet. But we're going to plan like they do exist. And I'm going to assume that these 5x5 five five rooms are big enough. We can't expand them if they decide that they're not enough. Greedy fuckers. I am satisfied with two 5x5 five five rooms. If someone's a fighter, we can make bronze now. Oh. Very good. Welcome back, Fern. Collect How was your set? every mushroom you can. The giant mushroom gives 25 permanent max health. Oh, shit. That needs to go to whoever dies the most. <laughs> Here you go, Miko. Yep. <laughs> but I can already put it into recipes, so I'm not sure if I can combine it with every single ingredient and get, like, 400 max health. Yeah, I wonder if, like, two big mushrooms would be even better. <laughs> Damn it. Also, well, I am hungry. Um, rockfish, or whatever they're called, will give a 16% melee damage for five uh, minutes. Ooh. So we need to collect those before we go fight the slime. You mean a rock jaw? Yes. I just got one. Time to fish. I'm gonna uh, join them in the fishing, but I'm gonna go do it in an area where there's rare fish, or at least twink twi twinkling fish in the water. So we need to go find a river. 
up here. Keep the tin fishing pole. Oh. Okay, I'll go grab a tin one. I don't think it's going to make much difference. I'm probably not going to be able to fucking handle it. Oh, good. I'm glad it went well for him. Hey, Miko, I got a uh, necklace with plus, plus six dodge. Do you need that? I do. Okay, how do I drop stuff? Uh, put it in your hand and then right click. I'll give you my crit chance necklace. Like, put it in your hand as if you're, like, you're going to move it to a different slot in the uh, inventory. Like, you're going to move it. Yeah, I'm trying. There we go. There we go. I got it. All right, I got it. <laughs> We've done it. Yeah, dodge awesome, is good. Miko. You can make bombs over here at the alchemy table. Oh. Uh, oh, a... Big bomb, crude bomb, bomb, three bomb pepper, ooh, and two slime. So slime is definitely good. Peppers and slime. These aren't bad. Dude, why don't we just bomb the shit out of slime boss? We didn't even need swords, just bomb them. Fucking dwarves are cool. 34 armor for a minute. Stone skin potions are not bad. Oh, I think the crop is the Karak. With a Karak. I think it's Karak. The cock. The cock. There we go. Rock and Stone Brothers. If we get a crude bomb, it's not much, uh, but it works. It, it's, dude, it's literally just slime and peppers. It's just slime and peppers. We just need to farm as many slime and peppers as we can. All right, I can do that. Let me just bomb the shit out of Slime Boss. GG, bitch. Easily done. I'm not surprised Silver and Snake are causing problems in the fish tank. I'd be surprised if they weren't. There we go. Okay, so I've got this room set up. Uh, apart from a light. Uh, and a door. And it's time to go fish. I need a 10 fishing pole, but I don't know where to make one. Or, I don't know if we have one already. I don't think so. All right, let's go take care of... Ooh, Umbreon died, ooh no. That's okay. Bronze helm, nice. 10 dagger, Sling slingshot! Oh! Simple ranged weapon. I love the idea of a slingshot. But a dagger seems even better. Dude, this is my gear. <laughs> Pedestal, a rug, decorative pot, decorative torch. Maybe this is what they need to move in. Is give them a pedestal, a pot. You know, I wonder if the decorative pots are going to be better for farming. It's a decorative item. There we go. Okay. Decorative pots, though, sometimes you can put farmables in them in some games. Hmm. Maybe just a more expensive version of the same thing and probably not worth it at all. All right, there we go. Put the wood up. Put that up. And consolidate those two. Put the ground in there. Put that in there. All right. So we're hungry again. There we go. Had to eat three of them. They don't do that much health, but that's not bad. Okay, so... Peppers and slime. I mean... We're going to have just a bunch of bombs. I think it can't hurt to just have one door that opens and then just fucking run in and just throw just a shitload of bombs at him. We don't even have to dig up the floor. Like going through this methodical methodical order of operations, like we're going to go clear out the floor to stop the slime spawn so we can move around and dodge him easily. No, no, no. F fucking bomb him to death. Just bomb him. There we go. 
go. 36 of these guys. Let's go grab some of the slime. Just 36 of it. Although I think it's a different ratio. Yeah, there you go. 12 bombs. This is... <laughs> I mean, it's at worst... At worst, that's... Uh, what, 3,000 damage? 3,600 damage? Who knows how much HP it has, but still... That's, that's got to be a good amount of damage that we can dish out to him there. And for just some peppers and some slimes, like, that's incredible. Yeah, that can't be a bad thing. I, I'm so tempted to go use it because, I like, until we know how much HP it has, we don't know how many we need. And, of course, I'd rather be overprepared. There we go. Let's go take a look at him and see if like hovering over will give an HP amount. I wonder if there's a way to check the HP of an enemy. There are 21 bomb peppers in the ingredients chest. Oh, there we go. Man, I feel like we can do this. I feel like somebody should go ahead and just take a bomb and see how much damage it does to them. Yeah, I'll do it. I will easily YOLO myself a bomb. There we go. Take just the one. Yeah, Not have it in my in hand. His wood armor. I'm gonna live forever. <laughs> we just gotta open this up. not bad. Oh, he breaks things. No, 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 no. We can do more damage with swords. I think so. With us zerging him, yeah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> and with how fast or slow those bombs go, it'll take a yeah. while. Yeah, for sure. Some ten swords or ten daggers. Stab the shit out of him. That's what I want to do is make a ten dagger. It's only seven ten bars. Fuck it. We got plenty. It's my new weapon. Oh, it's going to be great. I Honestly, a, a weapon that hits less frequently but hits harder is probably better in this game. But it's not nearly as fun. It's not. It's not nearly as fun. There we go. Ultimately, it's all that matters is the fun. The fun factor is the most important stat on a weapon. Building materials seem to go up here, so I'll do that, but I'm gonna keep my bridges. He does just stab, yes! Perfect. <laughs> hey, Miko. Yeah. Uh, can you uh, dig out all of this ground in between these torches? Just in these lines. Here? Or like this? Long ways. Okay. I'll be helpful. I'll do my best. There we go. How am I getting hungry again? I had dinner. Fuck's sake. Here we go. Eat the microphone? Oh, I'm going to, Snake. You watch me. All right. As well as this top one right here. Actually, no. That'll get in the way. Okay. Because <clears throat> we could put the water down, then bridge over it. I don't know if that would still be considered water there. But that'd be good. I, f I feel like we go and zerg him. I probably need to repair my armor or maybe think about making some actual uh, copper armor now. 
It feels like we have such excess. Potentially. We need to cook it. We need to cook the rest of this uh, tin ore. Do 12. 12 or 13 or so. I keep punching it. Stop punching it, you violent little man. Here we go. Get that in there. There we go. Get those cooking. Get those bars going. It's snake is sitting in the fish tank of the venue. That's funny. I, f I feel like we're going to be A-OK. -okay. I feel like fighting the slime is not going to be that hard because he's going to jump, hover, and then fall. There we go. Take the uh, take the copper and see if I can make an armor set for myself. You have your shovel and all that ground that you just dug up. There we go. I know we need more than this to be able to do it. Nine and then another eight. This should be enough. There we go. So 18 is enough. Ooh, why do I hear squishes this close to base? Are we in trouble? <laughs> are we are we in trouble? To play with him. Okay. I think we may not have the choice for long uh, before he ends up crashing into us. Cat's over there playing with the boss. Dude, Umbreon's so far away. I mean, he goes back to his original position once he de aggro so we're not worried. Oh, okay, good. Good, good. At least that's what I think. It's, that's where I found him, exactly where he was when you first went to see him. Had he healed? Uh, not sure. Okay. I'm going to go look then. Because we could just kill him through attrition. Yes, that is a plan. It's a bitch move, but it's also a functional move. True. Oh. He did, in fact, heal. Oh, that's a shame. No attrition for me. Oh, well. I do think it's going to be easy for us to go in and just bonk him to death. There we go. What do you say we assemble for an attempt? Sure. Okay. Get back to base, you sluts. We got a boss to murder. guy's falling out over here. Yeah, there's a slime boss up here. I thought we were going to bomb him, but it didn't work the way. I thought you'd throw it, but no, you place it on the ground and then it uh, and then it explodes after a while. It doesn't do that much damage. I'm expecting the dagger to do more. Because when he's down, I'll be able to just shiv the shit out of him. Yeah, I think that's going to be how we fight him. He lands, he's up, he lands, he's up, you know, something like that. First boss is always slime. It kind of is. In Terraria, it's one of the first bosses you fight. It's one of the first bosses you can fight. Although they've changed it to make him harder. Yeah, dude, the dagger's pretty good for damage. Dagger's pretty nice. It's a little spooky up here. I think it's going to work out fine, though. I think we're just going to murder it. I think this whole thing is going to get ground down to just smaller slime. Griffin, we might have enough for another uh, set of copper armor. I'm okay. <laughs> you say that now, but your bones are going to be sad. 
I mean, I don't want to waste too much copper on just armor unless you think we're not going to need copper in the future. I think we're finding so much tin that we could probably afford a little bit of copper armor. Right, That's why I made then. my set. Yeah. I checked the furnaces. There's probably a lot still burning there. Or if you want to make the jump to tin, uh, to bronze armor, you need copper and tin. Oh, I see. Hmm. Probably worth holding on to the copper then. All right. Oh, Kat's already got some bronze on her. Nice. Not the helmet, though. Uh, by the wood. I believe everyone's here, then. Are we ready? All right. Let's go. Um, Dude. Very quickly, somebody come get this plus 14 armor and 16% melee damage. Oh. Wait a second. I can make more. Yeah, I'm hungry. Might as well eat some good food. Max health, health, armor. I'm going to go ahead and take that. Here we go. Put the, all this stuff back. There we go. I'm ready. We'll eat this on our way in, and then... Yeah. Because both of these are going to give me some bonus HP, which is going to be good, because I know I'm going to get my ass beat. Do not let your face get set. Under. Okay. I'll get to full hunger once I once I eat this. This will get me there. So I'm going to eat it before the fight so I have the full buff. Oh, nice slingshot. Grab this last, uh... And there's one more 16% in here. Oh. Should be good for me. I'm good. All right, off we go. I'm going to be range DPS. <laughs> there we go. Plus one running. All right, two arms, boys. Oh, jeez. I'm going to face tank. Just go. I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> I need to do a little bit of healing, but I think we're going to be fine. Oh, he enrages. Great. We love that. Nice. Good job. <laughs> Good job, indeed. There we go. Oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's Snick. Oh, I'm merchant. Okay, so we can buy copper now. We can sell shit and get copper. Very good. We did it. And then some ancient gemstones. Okay. And a really fucking rad chest. We can grow the fiber and then just sell that. Yeah. So we have basically unlimited copper now. We just have to transmute it. Do not punch the man. Maybe he'll move in. This is in. mine now. This is mine now. No one's taking it. <laughs> yes, for the kitchen. <laughs> well, that was uh, that was nice when you can zerg it. This is what a bunch of cocos look like. Oh yeah. Oh, very nice. Gorm the Devourer Scanner scans the world for Gorm the Devourer, consumed on successful scan. Materials, ancient gemstones, and mechanical parts. Hive Mother Scanner scans the world for the Hive Mother, consumed on successful scan. We already, I think, know where one of these is. Slime Sword. 2.5 attacks per second. Decent damage. Slows down the target movement speed by 40%. Oh. That's pretty fucking good. That's pretty fucking good. That's pretty nice. Yeah, so it really unlocks. Nice. Wow, and that's something that we could probably make several of at this point. Yeah, now you can kite really bad. The devourer is the big crawling. We know that's over off to the west. We ran into him. We saw him earlier today. 
All hail the kitchen. Oh. Hell yeah, man. That, feel, that feels nice that we're getting that uh, that addition. So we know the devourer is over here. We stood like right over here and we saw him climbing up like this. So there's that. There's all this whole room to take care of as well now, which has been claimed. But then we saw some, uh, there was also some shaking when we were standing over here. So there's probably another boss like over in this area. I don't even think we need to scan. I think honestly, we're just going to be able to um, find. I think because we could just go over there, run over there and get them. I think that's all going to work. He makes a big circle. Ah, that makes sense. Where at least we know where one part of the arc is. So that's really good. Okay. That's nice. I'm going to take a break. You guys keep playing. Uh, we're going to be swapping to City Skylines here pretty soon. So you guys enjoy this. Clean up. Get your stuff organized and hop out when you're done. Uh, and then I will take a break and come back with some cities. BRB. It's a shame there's no irrigation. You wouldn't have to do that. I'm not complaining too much. Why would you say that? What do you mean? I'm sure it's annoying that there's no irrigation, but it keeps me busy. Yeah, and at least you have a source of water that's really close, so that's nice. Hello. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close this down. Um, so in a minute, I'm going to be shutting this down so y'all get to a stopping point, and then we'll pop out, and we'll play some more tomorrow. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> Fucking cat. This, honestly, this game feels like a, you, you just dump a whole bunch of Cocos it's a in a... Game. I think so. You dump a whole bunch of cocos in a little cave and see what they do. It's this. <laughs> to go around and murder everything and steal everything and bring it back. It's what they do. Fantastic game. The, the devs are doing a great job with it. I'm, I'm uh, really eager to see where they're going with it. I don't it's know when like we're going to... taking gonna... all of the combat of Stardew Valley and keeping a little bit of the farming. Yeah. It's got the parts of Stardew so far that I was able to stomach. It, start, it feels much closer to Terraria than Stardew, for sure. Okay. Yeah. I don't know at what point we're going to stop playing this early access version because I don't want to see everything and then... You didn't like oh. Stardew Valley? I'm not a fan. I found that it was... I, I'm not a fan of the chore simulator games. Uh, I, ironically, I know. Uh, like Animal Crossing and games like that. I... <laughs> That's people. Have that's you people's... seen uh, the next game they're planning? A chocolatier, hunted chocolatier game, which is basically like uh, Stardew Valley, but you know, you're running a store instead of a farm. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I'll take a look at it. 
I mean, it's not out yet, but yeah, I'm keeping my eye on it, on it as well because it looks interesting. Oh, well, let me know how it goes then. Will yeah. do. That sounds good. It looks cute. Oh, man. Okay, I'll have to look at a trailer or something for it. You're simping already? Bitch. Bitch. Foo Lothridge. Boo woo. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. Is that a yiz? Or was that, was that Lothridge? Wow. Nice. It sounded like yiz for a second. I get real excited. All right. So we're going to go ahead and quit this. We're going to do some cities. Uh, thanks for hanging out with bitch. me. Wow, bitch. So aggro. 